Hello everyone, Mimikins here. Today I'm going to share with you all the Laird Armor skins pre Ice Barn and where you can get them. I have covered Laird Armor in various videos, but I thought having them all lumped together in one easy to find place would be helpful. First up, we had the Bushy Sabby. The full Laird Armor requires multiple delivery quests requiring Bushy tickets, which you can get from completing the Kulf Tower Siege event in the Gathering Hub. The Bushy Homery is another Laird Armor you can get from the Kulf Tower Siege. It's very similar to the first set, but has a few minor changes and a different colour. When you customise your own colour palette, it dyes different sections of the armour. Brigade Armour This requires Hunter King Coins. These can be obtained from completing arena quests in the Gathering Hub. You get preset gear and can go in solo or duo. Arena quests 5, 6 or 7 are the ones you want to do. Guild Cross this requires Kashala Dora tickets, which you get from defeating Arch Temper Kashala in the event quest The Eye of the Storm. Hunter Ace coins you can get from completing Arena Quest 8 or 9 in the Gathering Hub. Blossom Armor. This requires two Kirin tickets, which you can get from defeating Arch Tempered Kirin in the event quest of Whisper of the White Mane. Diver. Requires Summer Twilight tickets which are available during the Summer Twilight Fest as a login bonus and from completing limited bounties during this time. Harvest. This armour requires Autumn Harvest tickets which you can get during the Autumn Harvest Fest by logging in and completing limited time bounties. Orion. Winter Star tickets are available during the Winter Star Fest by logging in and completing limited bounties. The Gala Suit. This requires appreciation tickets which you can get during the Appreciation Fest by logging in and completing limited bounties. You can also gain 13 tickets through the free 13 million celebration pack available till the 29th of August. The Butterfly Laird Armour requires Summer Insect Field Guides, which can be obtained from the Arena Challenge Gadjalaka Outbreak. The best place to farm Great Hornflies is by growing and boosting honey or bugs at the Botanical Research Centre. Deathstench armor requires Valhazak tickets from AT Valhazak in the event quest The Deathly Quiet Curtain. You can get sinister cloths as a reward from the Tail Raider Safaris. Commission armor requires Xenojiva tickets, which you can get from defeating AT Xenojiva in the event quest like a moth to the flame. You also need research commission tickets, which you can get from two optional quests The White Wings of the New World. To unlock this quest you need to complete all optional and assignments except those added in DLC content, such as Devil Joe, Lunastra, Leshen and the Behemoth. Alternatively, you can do the Sapphire Star Guidance. That requires Hunter rank 100 or higher. Origin Armor requires Zora Magdaros tickets from defeating AT Zora in the event quest Undying Alpen Glow. High Commendation tickets are obtained from defeating Elder Dragons in optional 8 star quests or the assignments. Beetle Armor requires Beetle tickets which you can get from the event quest The Names of Ovasioth. It is also a great quest for jewel farming. Great Hornflies can be grown by cultivating bugs or honey at the Botanical Research Centre. Aloy Armor is a PS4 exclusive which gives your character the appearance and voice of Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn. Is the same for both males and females. Aoi tickets are from the event quest The Heart of the Nora, and Nora Brave trophies are from the event quest The Proving. Ryu armor makes your character sound and look like Ryu from Street Fighter. At the moment this is only available on console, not sure when or if they will release it on PC. Fingers crossed for you guys. It requires Nergiganti tickets from AT Nergiganti in the event quest The Heralds of Destruction Cry. SFV Ticket 3s can be obtained by completing any one of the Awakened Sassy No Haddle quests found in the Arena Challenges at the Gathering Hub. Sakura Armor makes your character sound and look like Sakura from Street Fighter. Again, this armor only seems to be on consoles at the moment. This requires Lunastra tickets from defeating Arch Tempered Lunastra in the event quest when Blue Dust surpasses Red Lust, as well as SFV Ticket 2s, which can be obtained from any one of the Arena Challenges called Empress in Full Bloom. Dante Armor requires Teostra tickets from defeating AT Teostra in the event quest The Scorn of the Sun, as well as Red Orbs which you can get from the event quest Code Red. Draken Armor requires a Glamour Prism from defeating Extreme Behemoth in the event quest A Visitor from Eorzea Extreme. This is probably the hardest quest currently in Monster Hunter World, 
However, you only have to complete it one time to get this. Bayek armor makes your character look and sound like Bayek from Assassin's Creed. You need two Senu feathers from the event quest, SDF, Silent, Deadly and Fierce. Geralt of Rivia armor makes your character sound and look like Geralt from The Witcher. This requires a mutagen which can be obtained as a random reward in the event quest Contract Woodland Spirit against the Ancient Leshen. Alternatively, you can also take on the appearance and voice of Ciri from The Witcher by trading in the same item. Shadow Shades, these sunglasses require summer twilight tickets which you get from logging in and completing limited bounties during the summer twilight fest. Black Crystal tickets can be obtained from the event quest Flash in the Pan. Mosswine Mask requires full tickets which you get from the event quest A Royal Pain. You can get the Mosswine hides from carving the pigs that look like the mask. Full Feline, again this requires tickets from the event quest A Royal Pain. Tail Raider vouchers can be obtained by sending the Palicos out on a safari. Sealed Eye Patch requires full ticket 2s which you get from the event quest King's No No Fear and black bandages from the event quest Scraping with the Shamos. Wiggler Head requires full ticket 2s from the event quest King's No No Fear as well as the Wiggler tickets from the event quest Wiggle Me This. The Skull Mask requires full ticket 3s which you get from the event quest The Greatest Jagras which is also a good quest for jewel farming. Unknown skulls can be gathered from bone piles in Elder's Recess. The Kulu Yaku Head. This again requires full ticket 3s from the Greatest Jagras as well as the Kulu Yaku tickets from the event quest Egg Lovers United. The Samurai Laird Armor is available for those who bought the Deluxe Edition of Monster Hunter World. You can also buy a Deluxe Kit add-on if you really want this skin. It does come with some extra gestures, stickers, hairstyle and a face paint. Looking forward to Ice Barn, there's two new weird armors available. The Yukumo set for pre-ordering the Iceborn expansion and the Silver Knight set for purchasing the Digital Deluxe Edition. So that sums up all the weird armor available and where to get them before the expansion. Iceborn will bring a whole host of new options and I'm very excited to see what's available for fashion. I also love to mix and match pieces to create unique looks. What's your favourite armour set in world? Please support the channel by liking and subscribing and I'll see you next time.